Alaska is one of our favorite cruise destinations. We've sailed there several times with a few different major cruise lines. So we were intrigued when the small ship cruise line, American Queen Voyages, announced it would be cruising to Alaska this year with a brand new expedition vessel. Would we be able to rough it during the three-day preview sailing? Well, we've survived and we're back, and we want to give you all the details about the brand new Ocean Victory up next. Welcome aboard, cruisers. I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the perfect cruise so you can see the world one port at a time. Now, the wife and I have been on close to 50 cruises with 12 different cruise lines. And we've sailed to Alaska on several occasions with cruise lines like Celebrity Cruises, Norwegian Cruise Line, and Princess Cruises, just to name a few. But we've tended to shy away from some of the other cruise brands that say they offer more adventurous cruise experiences in the region. So we were a little skeptical when American Queen Voyages announced that Ocean Victory would be able to provide the best of both worlds. It would give you that up close and personal Alaska cruise experience that you can only find on the smaller ships, but still have many of the amenities and luxuries you come to expect from the larger contemporary cruise lines. Was the cruise line successful with its first expedition ship? Well, we're back and we're going to provide you with our honest review of what it's like on an expedition cruise with American Queen Voyages in this video. Of course, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll be sure to answer them. For this season, Ocean Victory will be sailing from Vancouver, British Columbia to Sitka, Alaska and vice versa. Now, in all honesty, we were only able to sail on the three day preview sailing. And yes, we were guests of the cruise line, but all of our opinions are our own. This small expedition vessel accommodates just 186 guests and under 100 crew members. The ship measures 342 feet in length and features an innovative cross bow design. As cruisers who routinely sail on mega ships that are 100,000 gross tons or more, Ocean Victory was definitely one of the smallest ocean ships we've ever sailed on. However, the unique design of the ship ensures the comfort of guests and the protection of the environment. Oddly enough, it was on a hike in Glacier Bay National Park that American Queen Voyages founder and chairman John Wagner had an aha moment. After witnessing a major cruise line enter and exit these protected waters, he thought there had to be a better way to cruise to Alaska. Now, flash forward to four years later, the small ship cruise line has launched this expedition ship. In a sit down conversation we had with the chairman, he recalled that he was thinking that now was the perfect time for the cruise line to get into Alaska and do it right and do it differently than anyone else would. Thus, this brand new ship includes elements of a modern research vessel with the amenities of a first class ocean cruise ship. Thus, this new expedition ship features equipment and enrichment programming that rivals the biggest names in adventure travel, yet cruisers can still find many of the comforts they've come to love about cruising on larger ships. For instance, Ocean Victory has an elegant main dining room, featuring an exquisite four course dinner each evening. The venue was open nightly for dinner from 7 to 9 p.m., serving a rotational menu of regional specialties. The menu also included a number of always available dishes served nightly, including lobster and prime sirloin every night. Further, the main restaurant was open for breakfast and lunch, serving a buffet with selections that rotated daily as well. In addition, the ship features a trendy pool deck. This luxurious space includes an elevated infinity pool and two whirlpools. So whether you want to take a quick dip in the pool or soak in the views from the hot tub, there's plenty of space to do so. This area also featured an array of comfy furniture and a pool bar for those warmer afternoons. To be honest, the pool bar was not open during our sailing and was actually being utilized for storage. Likewise, American Queen Voyages provides a more all-inclusive pricing model, making it a great value. For example, the base fare includes a pre-cruise hotel stay and all transfers. Not to mention, the cruise fare also includes onboard Wi-Fi, all dining, all beverages, and many tours and excursions. In order to provide more in-depth exploration, American Queen Voyages Ocean Victory offers 12 and 13 day one-way expeditions instead of your typical seven day round trip routes. Similar to other cruise lines, Ocean Victory has excursion days during stops at popular ports like Ketchikan. During these days ashore, cruisers can enjoy organized tours and guide explorations, gain a better understanding of the history and culture of the area. During our preview sailing, we did the complimentary city tour of Vancouver, British Columbia. 
This well-organized and executed tour consisted of a bus tour to all the major neighborhoods of the city, with a few stops. Our tour guide Ian was fun and informative. One of the included stops was Stanley Park. Here, cruisers could wander on their own in this beautiful area, or join an optional guided walking tour. We also got close to 90 minutes of free time in the trendy Granville Island area. Here, cruisers could grab some souvenirs, check out the famous public market, grab a brew, or admire the artisan shops and boutiques darting the streets. In addition, cruisers can book premium tour options like float plane tours or other bucket list excursions for an added cost. Beyond these ports of call, Ocean Victory also offers several expedition days. During these days, cruisers can join the train expedition team members on outings right from the ship. Admittedly, we were not sure if we'd be up for these more rigorous and demanding expeditions. First, there are the military-grade Zodiacs, offering wildlife sightings and other adventures. Here, cruisers can glide along the inside passage in search of sea lions, river otters, harbor seals, and of course, whales, bears, and eagles. During our 90-minute sightseeing adventure of Susha Island, our Zodiac captain, Christina, weaved in and out of the small isles in search of wildlife. During our time, we were able to see sea lions, seals, and an array of birds. Although, it did get a bit windy and cold, but that's all part of the adventure. Like any Alaska cruise, you need to pack appropriately for an expedition cruise. This means bringing plenty of layers and a variety of rainproof tops and bottoms. Do know that the cruise line does have some additional gear if you don't have the right clothes. Following our Zodiac expedition, we were greeted by the hotel director with cups of hot cocoa in the aptly named Mudroom, where we returned our safety gear and debriefed from the sightseeing adventure. In addition, the expedition team leads guided kayak tours for a more active experience. With over 20 kayaks on board, cruisers can get up close and personal with wildlife minus the engine. Unfortunately, due to the weather conditions, we were not able to go out on our kayak expedition later in the afternoon during our sailing. Of course, this is just part of the experience when you're sailing in Alaska. Honestly, I'm pretty sure the wife was okay passing on the kayaks after our morning expedition on the Zodiacs. The best part is that all cruisers have the ability to participate in these expedition activities for no additional charge, or you can opt out of them at any time. During the cruise, cabins are assigned a spirit animal, which provides each small group a schedule with specific times for that day's activities. In addition to these active adventures, there are plenty of onboard enrichment opportunities to give cruisers first-hand experiences that are authentically Alaskan as well. Cruisers can attend workshops and participate in whale tracking through fluke identification. They can also learn more about ongoing projects from the scientists actively conducting the research. Along with being research assistants, cruisers can learn more about various topics from daily onboard lectures led by research partners as well as the expedition team. From animal communication to top predators, these talks are engaging and informative. The expedition lecture room on Deck 5 is a perfect spot for these edutainment activities. The venue is large enough that all cruisers can enjoy the daily presentations in comfort. With digital screens lining the forward wall, this intimate space is a high-tech classroom at sea. Not to mention, the ship is purposely designed to let you access as much of the region as possible right from the vessel. At the very top of the ship, you'll find an outdoor observation deck all the way forward on deck 8. Immediately following this outdoor deck, there's a generously sized observation lounge. This indoor space allows guests to admire the vistas from comfort and the warmth of the ship. Further on deck 5, you'll find another outdoor observation deck all the way forward beyond the expedition lecture room. From here, guests can access overwater viewing platforms. Folding down from both sides of the ship, these platforms provide a unique overwater perspective perfect for wildlife sightings. Another thing that made this expedition cruise different from other Alaska cruises was the ability to interact directly with the expedition team on board. These staff are a knowledgeable and eclectic mix and team members quickly become part of your journey. In fact, they're encouraged to mingle and get guests engaged. At dinner, a Zodiac captain might just join your table and tell you about her life experiences or ask about your travels. This sense of camaraderie truly sets American Queen voyages apart. According to Mr. Wagner, all of this is very intentional. Given his background as a marine biologist and fisherman, he was always intrigued with Alaska. So these expedition cruises need to be science-based, but ensure guests are comfortable. Thus, alongside microscopes in the observation lounge of Deck 8, there are lavish finishes and excellent service that you expect from a premium cruise line. 
Whether you want to head outside on the viewing deck or enjoy the vistas from the warmth of the lounge, this is a great place to enjoy the sail into your next scenic destination. Further, our stateroom, cabin 417, was modern and clean. The spacious balcony cabin had plenty of storage for those longer voyages. Also, there was a true balcony that let us admire the landscape from the comforts of our own room. This is a far cry from some of the other retrofitted research vessels that cruised the region. The modern stateroom was on par with the contemporary cruise lines in size and amenities. Our balcony cabin included a closet, desk, and plenty of storage shelves and drawers in the cabin tree opposite the bed. Further, there were several power outlets and USB outlets in the cabin. However, there was no sofa or additional seating in our cabin category. As the chairman concluded, we take off all the boxes. Adventure up close, science on board, continuing education, great food, great staff, and nice staterooms. Spending three days on board, we were only able to get a taste of what American Queen Voyage's Ocean Victory promises to offer guests. Still, we can agree that the ship does offer a great option for an Alaskan cruise. In our opinion, the ship combined the best of both worlds, making it a one of kind in the crowded cruise space. So whether you've never been to Alaska or have cruised there in the past on a larger ship, American Queen Voyages is ready to show you something completely different. Just make sure you're ready for the adventure. And there you have it. That's our look at expedition cruising in Alaska with American Queen Voyages. Of course, we would love to hear from you. Let us know in the comment section if you would ever cruise on an expedition vessel like Ocean Victory. I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you see the world one port at a time. And if you enjoyed this video, we have tons of other cruise reviews and cruise tip videos right here on our channel. If you're not sure where to start, why don't you take a look at our picks for the top 10 Alaska cruises. Along with Ocean Victory, we detail our picks for some of the best ships sailing way up north this year from the major cruise lines, including Norwegian Cruise Line, Celebrity Cruises, Royal Caribbean, Princess Cruises, On America Line, and more.